Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video showing you guys the proud of your coily wig from Her Given Hair. This time I decided to do a braid out, so if you guys want to see how I got these results, stay tuned for the rest of the video. The wig is freshly co-washed, so I'm starting off by spritzing the hair with water, and then I'm going to add my As I Am Leave-In Conditioner all over the hair. To begin my braid out, I'm going to use the Twist Defining Cream. I'm just going to get a little bit out of the jar and I'm going to smooth that into section. I'm doing the braids in about medium sections. And then of course I'm going to detangle my hair and begin to braid the hair down. I do try to braid the hair as tight as possible so it can have a lot of definition. And then when I get all the way down to the ends, I twirl it around my finger so it can have a little curl at the end. All around my hair, I'm going to continue the process of spritzing the hair with water, detangling it, adding the twist defining cream, and braiding my hair down, making sure to twirl it at the end so that I can have a little curl. I did make a previous video about this wig. I did a twist out, and personally, I like the twist out results better than the braid out results. You guys will see the results at the end. Let me know which results you like better down below. If you haven't seen the first video, this is a unit from Her Given Hair. The unit is called the Proud of Your Coily Unit. The cap size that I got is a medium, and the hair is 14 inches. The lace color is a light brown. And I am absolutely in love with this wig. Like, this is my favorite wig from her giving hair. Just to throw that out there, just in case you want to know. <laughs> So this is how the wig looks once I added all the braids. I think I had about 20 to 25 braids all together. Um, and this is how much shed hair I had all together. This is including me washing and detangling it. So this is the next day. And a tip if you want your wig to dry faster, put it outside. Like I live in Houston and it was like 100 degrees yesterday. So I put it outside and it dried that bad boy real quick so before i um start taking down the braids i went ahead and added a, just a little bit of oil to my hands you don't want to add too much i'm not a fan of adding oil to a weave but i just wanted to add just a little bit because i didn't want it to be too frizzy and then i'm just going to go ahead and take down the braids starting from the bottom some pieces i like to pull like two pieces apart and then it'll unravel a lot faster but when you're taking down braids it just takes forever anyway it takes a lot longer than when you do um, twists. So this is how my hair looks. It's pretty defined. And after I unraveled it the first time, I'm going through a second time and fluffing it out so the hair can get bigger. As you can see, when you do a braid out, the curl pattern is a bit more elongated than when you do a twist out. A twist out is more curly. A braid out is more stretched. So it's a bit of a difference from when I did the twist out. And if you guys want to see that video, I'll definitely link it above in the cards. And I have a link down below in the description box. So now I'm just um, going through and picking out my hair so it can get bigger and bigger and bigger. Initially, I wanted to have like my hair in my front and my um, face like I did with the other style. But with this style, I decided to just have like a part down the middle and then have it big on the side. So I'm just picking out the sides so it can get bigger and bigger. And bigger, big hair is the goal. <laughs> When I'm all done, this is how my hair looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to get more information about this wig, make sure to click the link down below in the description box. I have the direct link so you guys can go to the Her Given Hair website. And as always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!